Hi friends. So as we all know, nothing will satisfy a chocolate craving better than a delicious chocolate cake recipe. And when a chocolate cake or a cupcake is topped with a Nutella frosting, you just cannot go wrong. It's a perfect combination of a delight in every bite. And I'm here to show you how to cook it at home. So let us start with the procedure. Grease the cupcake tin or the cake tin with melted butter and then dust it with all purpose flour. Tap out the excess flour and keep it aside. Now preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, let's take a mixing bowl, assemble the flour, cocoa powder, baking powder and baking soda with a pinch of salt into a sieve and sieve once to make the mixture uniform. This step is very important to ensure the baking soda and baking powder are spread evenly in the batter. In another bowl, assemble all the liquid ingredients. Take melted butter, you can melt it in microwave for 10 seconds. Then add condensed milk and beat until well mixed using a hand mixer on medium low speed. Then add fresh cream and again beat the mixture and mix well. Also don't forget to add vanilla essence and mix well. Now put in half the flour mixture and stir in the sugar and beat until mixed about 2 to 3 minutes. Stir in the remaining flour and beat until smooth and creamy about 2 to 3 minutes. Then add 2 tablespoons of hot water and mix again for a minute more. Ensure the cake consistency. Spoon the batter into the prepared cupcake tin and cake tin which we have greased earlier. Now bake cupcakes for 25 to 30 minutes and your cake for an hour. If you prefer your cake sweet and if you are making it without the icing then I would suggest that you make this cake with additional sugar. Now let us move on to prepare the nutella icing. For this in a large mixing bowl put in the butter at room temperature and beat well with a hand mixer. Then add icing sugar, cocoa powder and vanilla essence and beat it for 2-3 to three minutes. Then add Nutella and beat it using as much milk to get a smooth icing. Once your icing is done, fill it in a piping bag and keep it in the refrigerator to chill. Now here comes my favorite part that is decorating the cupcakes. So to finish off your cake, let the cake or the cupcake completely cool down. Now spread the icing on the cake with the help of a piping bag and the desired nozzle. If you want to decorate it more, you can also dust your icing sugar on the cake or you can also decorate your cupcakes using your desired decorations and enjoy this delicious yummy cupcakes or the cakes. An expert tip for you, it is always better to use all the ingredients while baking as per the measurements which is very important in the baking. I hope you do try this at home and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such exciting recipes and helpful tips.